Okay, so it's time for another rant. Uh, so I, I've got a video up that's a, a review of um, Mookie, Emmy, Pan, whatever, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, I'll put that in the title. So I bought this uh, about not even a year ago. It was June 22, basically. And uh, so today I was playing it and uh, one of the keys started to become a bit intermittent, you know, sort of like... Uh, just not working properly. So I looked on YouTube videos about dusting the contact, so I took it apart and I cleaned the dust out of the contact. And it was fine. So I've played it for another half an hour or something like that. And bear in mind, all right, I play it quite regularly, but I'm not exactly... I, I have caned it, to be honest. I have caned it, but you, you should expect longer than that out of any... I've had old Casios and everything that work for years and years and years. And uh, basically, um, I was playing it, and one of the other keys just totally stopped working. So I took it apart more than I wanted to. Took like about a million screws out of it. <laughs> like, and what you find is the way the keys actually work, and I know this is common to other keyboards, you know, like Roland and things like that. You've got these uh, sort of like, you know, like the buttons out of a TV remote control. So it turns out the reason the key wasn't working is because one of the, the buttons has just the rubber has perished and snapped, just just snapped off, and the little dude, you know, that makes contact, um, has come away. So ultimately, the thing is not going to last. That's what it comes down to. And this thing now, yeah, I paid hundred and fifty quid for it. It's up for two hundred and fifty quid. Do not buy it. Do not buy it. Or at least, if you buy it, make sure you've got the warranty so you can just take it back. It, I, but don't buy it. It's, it. In the long run, if you you know if you play a lot, I play a lot. You know, it's it's just not worth it. So the way I'm I'm going to fix it just to get another probably six months out of it before it's completely useless unless I can buy or buy these rubber things. But um, is I took the rubber bit from the end, which is slightly different. I had to cut this end bit off it. Took the rubber bit from the end. So now that key probably won't work. I've tried tried to glue it so i took that rubber bit that was there and put it here instead so that well the section of the keyboard that i played more should work uh all in all uh, all i can say is that i'm very unimpressed with it you know basically i i, I, I could not say that i've had my money out of it because i haven't uh, less than a year for a keyboard is completely unacceptable Basically, and it's quite—it's a bit fiddly to take it apart. You can't take the keys out unless you undo the keyboard. And if, I'm not even going to go into that. Uh, this is just a warning saying, don't buy it because it will not last. You, you might as well just spend a bit more on something better. <laughs> even though I am aware that even, you know, like I just said, uh, Roland and things like that have this type of key in it, but this crummy Chinese one. Mm, not not impressed really not impressed they should come up with a mechanism that doesn't rely on these pathetic rubber things here you know because it's just oh god yeah a bit pissed off really but anyway hence the rant uh, and that's pretty much it do not buy this keyboard it, it, it doesn't even sound it sounds alright but some of the things don't work properly mm. Yeah, not impressed. Do not buy it. So yeah, I know I'm going to try and cobble it back together now. So that's it. Rant over. Peace out.